We want to thank God for this wonderful day the Lord has made. I want to welcome everyone to the month of May. And the Lord said this month is a month of restoration. As a promise of Jehovah over us that this month is going to restore back unto us everything that we have lost. Even to COVID-19, God has promised that this month is our month of restoration. The book of Joel chapter 2 and verse 25. Bible say, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, the great locusts and the young locusts, the other locusts and the locust swan, my great army that I sent among you. For you will have plenty to eat until you are full, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God, who work wonders for you. Never again will my people be ashamed. Verse 27, then you will know that I am in history, that I am the Lord your God, and that there is no other. And never again will my people be ashamed. Amen. The Lord has promised that this month of May is going to restore everything that we have lost. And I decree by the mercy of the Lord that this month you will experience the Lord's restoration. The Lord said this month there will not be any lack in your life. You will not be ashamed. He said there is not going to be any reproach in your life. The Lord said it's going to roll away every forms of reproach, every form of shame, and it's going to set you. I pray for you this month that in the name of Jesus you will enjoy the restoration of God. The Lord will restore your heads, it will restore your finances, it will restore your home, it will restore your relationship, it will restore your businesses. It will restore your career. It will restore your academics. It will restore you in every ramification. So you will eat in plenty. So you will, be, you will eat and be satisfied. That is the promise of God for you this month. And I know if God said it, He will do it. If God said it, He will do it. Because it's not a man that He will lie, nor the son of man that will repent of what He has said. So I want to welcome you this month, a month of power. So be ready to work with God this month. Be ready to work with him this month. Have faith in him this month because his word will work for you. Amen. The word of the Lord will work wonders in your life this month. So join me as we work in this month in the restoration power of the Lord. And I pray for you again in the name of Jesus. Everyone watching me this, this moment, wherever you are watching me from, either you are a member of Nathan Baptist Church or wherever you are, I prophesy this month is your month of restoration in the name of Jesus. The Lord said something in the book of that same Joel chapter 2 and verse 18. The Lord said, Then the Lord was jealous for his land and took pity on his people. When the Lord is jealous of the land because of his people, it means God is about to do something. The Bible said, The Lord replied to them, I am sending you grain, new wine, and olive oil, enough to satisfy you fully. Never again will I make you an object of scorn to the nations. Amen. The Lord has promised to restore our nation. The economy of this nation shall be restored. Your economy as a family, as an individual, shall be restored. This month, the Lord has promised to give us new wine, new grain. The Lord has promised to give us new rain in our land. And He said He's going to satisfy us. I believe God strongly that because He has said it, He's able and more than able to do it. And I pray for you that your song this month shall be i never know it will answer me this way i want to welcome you this month of restoration and i know everything you commit to god this month will witness total transformation welcome this is your month of glory this is your month of power this is your month of restoration and i know the lord will bless you in the name of jesus christ i want to use this medium to invite you to join us on all our services online for now on sundays 8 45 a.m on our social and and on Wednesday, 6 to 7 p.m., as we call upon the Lord to answer us by fire. Join us and I pray the Lord bless you and keep you from evil. I pray for you this month that in the name of Jesus, your household is covered with the blood of Jesus. You will not be victim of evil this month. In the name of Jesus, anywhere the soul of your feet shall touch this month, the Lord will deliver it for you as a possession. In the name of Jesus. Your inheritance in the hands of the enemy. The Lord will take it back for you. 
part of what restoration means is that God taking back what belongs to you that's in the camp of the enemy. Because of you this one, the Lord will open the prison doors that have been that locked against you. The Lord will open those prison doors and your inheritance in there shall be delivered to your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Join your faith with my this one as we call upon the Lord. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The hands of grace and power will talk to this man. And it shall be well with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stay blessed. Don't forget. Whatever people said concerning does not matter. What God said about you is what that matters most. You are a champion. You are a Goliath killer. You are a bondage breaker. God bless you. I love you. And I celebrate you. Happy New Month. I'm